65-year-old Mrs Lee has been betting on Hong Kong stocks for more than 20 years. Every trading day she comes to this broking house in time for the opening bell, checking her portfolio literally minute by minute. Like many Chinese her age, she won't give us her full name, but she is happy to show us her investments. Ali Health. One in particular, Ali Health, she bought for just a few cents a share. It's now trading at over $1.50. All the ones I have are doing really well at the moment, she tells me. After years of underperforming, Hong Kong's market is hot again. Mrs Lee's modest portfolio has been surging. It's Mrs Lee and thousands like her, the small retail investor who are driving this latest surge in stock prices here in Hong Kong. But it's even more so the case across the border in China. Since the beginning of the year, Hong Kong stocks are up around 20%, Shanghai by more than 30%. Compare that with the S&P's modest single-digit performance. It kicked off in Shanghai. A new round of government stimulus in China late last year was the trigger. And retail money pouring into Shanghai is also finding its way to Hong Kong via a new rule that lets mainland investors buy a limited amount of stock here. I think it is the start of a longer term trend. Many analysts say this could be just the beginning. Investment banker Peter Churchhouse has covered the Hong Kong markets for 35 years. Momentum, he says, is building. Hong Kong has been an underperforming market for the last couple of years and suddenly with this PRC money coming in, the Chinese money stimulating the market, uh, the foreigners in Europe and America are saying, hey, we've got to get on this bandwagon as well. But right now the investment charge is being led not by the big institutional guns, the pension funds, the mutual funds, but by retail players, including Hong Kong's small army of pensioner punters. Andrew Stevens, CNN, Hong Kong.